Guys, I have been keeping a secret from you. I know, I'm sorry. I'm getting a dog. Um, I'm so excited, like for the longest of times, my husband's been saying no, no, no to the dog. And then for my birthday, he decided he was going to try to surprise me and bring the coma pup. But it ended up being like best that we chose it out together. And so we've picked a puppy out. You could probably see a little bit of him in the thumbnail. I'm going to keep it a surprise until pickup day. So he's currently five weeks right around, give or take, within there. So he is actually coming home June 14th, which is about two weeks away. And we have to set up. We have no puppy stuff, no dog gear. And so yesterday we had a really big cleaning day. So we live in like a two one. So one of the rooms was currently my filming room slash storage room. And so we've cleared out the storage room because we bought a storage unit. And it's actually so nice that we finally have a storage unit because our apartment, literally, and if you've looked at our videos, like, it is not homey feeling. It's very frat boy apartment house, you know, it's not good. So we finally bought a storage unit to clear a lot of things out and I'm starting to finally make it a home, which we've been living at that place for about a year and a half and I'm like excited. I'm so excited, it's beyond worth it to us to get that storage unit to make our house finally feel like a home like i feel like i'll take care of it better yada yada but with that being said that room is going to be our little pupper's room and it's going to be my filming room so i'll have to just insert a little clip of what it looks like that was stacked full to the brim you guys wouldn't have even known but i was working with such a little space like i don't even know how big that rug is i'll put it on the screen but i was working with that little space of film and so it was kind of hard like you know reviewing all these products and just not having enough room so i'm so grateful to have that room now to be open to be cute i've been buying little home decor to get us more organized and so i'm just gonna take you guys along with me for the day if i find any like little puppy products i'm gonna put it in i just ran into dollar tree and i had to pick up more of my retinol so the retinol i use is by the skin nutrition i ran out so i picked up three keep this more like puppy related i have a huge 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 package coming in from amazon today with a bunch of pet supplies so we'll have to probably unbox that i do guys 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 i know i'm talking a lot but i'm just so excited i am going to make like a dedicated like pet prep supply video just because it's kind of educational especially if you never owned a dog before my hubby and i not together have owned one separately like i grew up with dogs he grew up with german shepherds by the way we're gonna be german shepherd so we kind of know what to expect. We know how to train. We've done training before. So that part's easier. If you haven't done that before, you guys, YouTube, 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 YouTube has all the info you need. I also will be documenting just the experience. So you guys can follow along with me on my journey. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. But let's get our day going because I woke up early. We're out in the town, the big town, early. So traffic, we beat it all. And... Okay, let's go, let's go. Hey guys, I'm, oh, sorry, my music's playing, but I made it to Goodwill. I don't think there's gonna be really anything here like dog related, but I am looking for home decor. Like I said, I'm trying to get organized. I'm trying to make it a home. If I find something, we'll cut this short and I'll show you it because it's probably gonna be not too interesting, especially it's not, it's not along the title lines, you guys. It's not puppy related. I'll let you know what I find, okay? Okay. Okay, so just leaving Ross. I found some stuff I liked in there, but I am like, I don't know. I don't want to buy something and then see a better deal at like TJ Maxx. And that's where I'm headed right now. They're like walking distance. So I'm going to check out TJ Maxx first. I also forgot my ruler for some of the things like I needed, like a mirror. I don't know. But I can always come back. I can always come back. So we'll see. Also, you guys, I did find some really cute stuff out of the, um, I did find really cute stuff out of that was so hectic. I don't even know why. Out of freaking Goodwill. And I get it out. Goodwill. So we will do a little haul when I get home. Um, but we definitely have more stores to check out while we're here. So TJ Maxx is next. Literally everyone and their moms are out shopping today. The lines are so long. But it is Saturday. So I guess. But they 
have so many more toys here at TJ Maxx and I think I'm gonna get some from here. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, let me show you what I found. So I'm kind of deciding, like I know I don't need everything, but my last dog really liked these Go Dog toys and there's a the little squeaker. They hold up really well. So I'm thinking about that one. And then there are these two packs and they have a squeaker inside, but they're the same price as that Go Dog one. So I feel like that's worth it. And then I'm trying to find something with a little bit more texture because he'll be, you know, pushing his teeth through and i'm sure you know teething it's not fun so i'm thinking something like that and then obviously squeaky tennis balls are the best um tj maxx they gave me this cool bag but yeah i found so many goodies i'm gonna do a full unboxing when i get home for a second there i couldn't remember where i parked and i literally hate that it's one of my icks oh my goodness i hate but i'm gonna just put this in the car and then home goods is right next door so we're popping in there um so here was my car like several hours later i don't know what happened oh my goodness you guys can you see literally how full the bag is i spent way too much but like i said i am now making my house my home and i found some really cool decor that I liked. I found a lot of things thrifted as well. I'm gonna do a huge haul for another video because this is my pup video but I found great puppy toys and some puppy supplies that I picked up so when I get home you guys we're doing a haul. But let's go ahead and get into what I found. Let's start with this. So puppy pads. We're gonna be laying out a ton of puppy pads. We'll have a puppy pad trained so that he goes on the puppy pads indoors and then we'll transition outdoors but i think he'll 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 probably get the hang of it pretty quickly they're already like grasping the idea that they need to go on the grass which was really neat so here is a hundred count pad they're 22 by 22 inches which is just like a regular size and it's by potty pads these were on clearance for only $18 and this is a really good deal because on Amazon for 50 of these, they're 13. So times that by two, that's $26 and I only paid 18. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Next thing, check out how, check out how stinking cute these glasses are. These are obviously for his treats. Let me like just get up close because look at the little handle. They had ones with bones and then they also had ones with a little paw. But the glass jar, I liked these ones and like the bone ones didn't fit on these jars. So I just went with the two paws and then they're the same type of glass style, which I think is so freaking cute. So this smaller one was $10. And then this large one, I believe, yeah, $15. This one can hold like milk bones. And then the smaller ones will do little like treats. And I'm gonna do another video where I'm setting up his room because I'm just so excited. You guys have to see it piece together. And then, I don't know if you can see, but I got this rattan holder of dog toys and I have the rest of his stuff in here that I bought. It is so cute. It looks so good with all of my decor and I'm just going to leave it open like this and then he can grab his toys when he wants to and he'll be able to use this especially when he's older. Now, I don't think I'm going to put this out right away because I would rather not have it get destroyed. It was $25 uh, from TJ Maxx. Actually, I like from Home Goods. So are these. These are Home Goods. Home goods, and then I believe this was also home goods. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was home goods. I shopped at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. No, sorry, we don't have Marshalls here. I shopped at TJ Maxx, Ross, and Home Goods. So from TJ, I found these Finley's training bikes. So they are tricky. I really like the size of these and like I squeeze them because I don't like them to be too hard when they're young. And so they had a salmon one and I saw this one out at the checkout. I was like, oh, 
I'm exchanging that because I think he'll like turkey better. So this is a 16 ounce for $10. Another chain treat we have here is by Crumps Naturals. So this is chicken. I saw a lot of flavors by Crumps. Um, I think salmon, turkey, beef, chicken, all that good stuff. So these ones were only $7 and let's see, you get 10 ounces. So these will be our little training treats till we run out and I will have to mix them up in here or try them out. Cause I want to make sure he can actually chew these little treats. And these ones are looking a little bit softer than these, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so switching over to a little Ross, we're gonna switch back and forth cause it's all mixed up in here. At Ross, I found this Reebok doggy bowl. So they're expandable like this. And I personally really, really like these expandable bowls. I used to use these at a time with my other dog and I know I'm gonna get great use out of it. And I was contemplating buying one of those little like water bottle, the, the ones that have the little bowl attached to the water bottle. I was contemplating buying those because they're so cute. But this is more practical and he's gonna be a big boy so i think we'll go ahead and do this and i can size up if i need to this was only four dollars however so i was like okay that's cheap enough let's do it and then nail clippers for his little toenails this will work for now maybe we'll move over to like a grinder set or whatever um but it says con air pro pet large and this was six dollars and then I picked this up. It looks so funny when you don't know what it is. It is supposed to be a little toy Cuban cigar. And this was five, uh, uh, this was $5, but I picked it up for my hubby. I thought he would like this because sometimes he smokes cigars. But yeah, the only bad part is, is he stuck his finger in and then this threading is already coming out. Can you see that? Like that sucks. So it probably won't last too long. Hopefully he'll chew on this other side. This is just so hilarious to me. I had to get it. All right, so another TJ Maxx find is this cute little squeaky lion, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. It is so cute and cuddly looking. I mainly got a big toy. He's gonna be tiny. He Last time we saw him, he was like maybe this big. He was a small little fella, and I think he'll be a little bit bigger, but I wanted to get him a little cuddly mate, and so this is by Pet Toy. It was $5. TJ Maxx does so good with their toys. Highly recommend you shop there for them. So yeah, there's a little squeaker in the body, and then I guess the ears are crinkly. I don't know, it's just stupid cute. So another, cute little toys I got were these Sea Life dog toys. These were $7 at TJ Maxx and they have little squeakers in them and some crinkle, obviously. Um, but I like the size of these. I feel like they're gonna be a really good size for when he comes home because he's gonna be only eight weeks old. So little baby squeakers, he's gonna love them and I'm so excited. They're just so cute. Great price too, for two, for that price. That's great. So the next toy I have here is called Triple Jack by Outward Hound. So it says three different sounds, which I'm just now realizing. Does it squeak? It squeaks. Oh, this is cool. He won't be able to squeak it quite yet. Cause that was really hard to do. But I mainly got it for the different textures. So let me show you guys up close. So there's a bunch of different textures on each color. And this was $6 at TJ Maxx. But I feel like these will help a lot with teething. They just will probably feel really nice on the gums. So I decided to try one now. And that's cool that it squeaks. I literally had no idea it squeaked. So that's a plus. Next one is a Go Dog toy. Oh my gosh, I love these toys for dogs. They hold up so well. And my last dog loved, loved, loved Go Dog. Like, loved Go Dog. And I find that a lot of people like do. Like, when you search Amazon reviews, they're like, oh, my dog is obsessed with this toy. So I found a little dinosaur. Now he has a little pink on him, but that's okay. He has some blue back here. 
Um, so I'm literally just so excited. There's a little squeaker in the back too, but yeah, this one's so cute. It's so cute. So at TJ, this was $8, a little bit more pricey, but like I said, they like make it with this really nice material so that it holds up. So cute. Another toy at TJ, which I really highly recommend, is squeaky tennis balls. Okay, tennis balls are great on their own, but once you add a squeak to it, oh my goodness, this is like dog's holy grail. So these were only $6 and you get six and it squeaks. I love, 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 love squeaky tennis balls and the Nerf ones are really nice. So there's a whole bunch in here and we'll have these for a long time. So had to pick those up for sure. Let's see, when did I get this? So I obviously got a little dog blanket for him. Um, I can't remember. I got this at home good. So this was $15. It is a 50 by 60 dog blanket. It is just so plush and soft. I wish you guys can feel this. And there's just little bones and little paws and oh, it's so cute. It's gonna look so cute in here in his room. I'm like, I'm so excited. So last but not least, there's a little toy at the bottom. So check out this little guy. This little guy was only $4. So little bitty squeakers. I didn't know it even squeaked, so that's cool. I mainly got it for the actual ball because like I said, these I feel like do really well when, when dogs are teething. So I wanted to get one and this will fit perfectly in his mouth and not be too, too tiny. He'll quickly outgrow this and I will not let him have it because I don't want him to choke on it. But it's a little zebra with a little pink back and I just really like the, uh, the spikes. So I'm sure they'll do really well with him. So. Super cute, it was really inexpensive, so I just had to grab it and throw it in at the end. But that is everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, let me show you this. So they were giving away, they were giving away these bags at TJ. So I got all my stuff wrapped up into that. But that is all the dog stuff I got, you guys. I did buy house decor and then Amazon dog stuff's coming in, but I think it's gonna come in later. So I'm gonna probably have to put that in another video. But that's it, like literally for this little haul. I did so good. I'm like giving myself a pat on the back because I could have spent so much more money, but I didn't. I didn't, you know? I held back a little bit. But let me take you out to the living room and I'm going to show you what I bought for furniture decor. All right, so ignore the clutter, but this is the rug I found at Ross. This is going into the bathroom. This was literally only eleven dollars. The cheap, like the the cheapest through to shop at, will be Ross, you guys. So this is so nice. It's basically almost a three by four, so really good size, and it's exactly what I was wanting because it has these like brown hues to it. It is gorgeous. And then let me move over here. So this painting right here is from uh, the thrift you guys it was only four dollars and it has this really beautiful thick like antique frame so cute so are these wall hangs look how cute they are they're all antique gold I am obsessed they were four bucks each a little bit pricier but not bad because I literally just bought two like wall scones or however you pronounce it for six dollars each so it's okay they're a good size and then I found this picture frame. I want to do like a mixed frame, antique-y, rustic -y looking for only a dollar, you guys, only a dollar. So I'm going to start slowly collecting all my frames. And then this right here is from Home Goods. Yeah, Home Goods. I went ham at Home Goods. I cannot go in that store unsupervised. So everything you see right there, I'll get up close, is from Home Goods. This is going to be my little utensil holder in the kitchen. It was eight dollars, and then I got these beautiful goose feather pillows. I'm literally so excited for them. These were these two were thirty dollars. And then up here, I have these oatmeal pillows. So nice. I really was hoping to get like cotton material. This is polyester. The cotton material I didn't really love and it was $10 more. And these were 40, so kind of a lot. But the cases do come off, so I made sure of that at least. And then here is going to be our new bedding. I one day want to invest in a feather goose down um, 
duvet but they're so expensive like i spent everything here i spent would have costed one duvet and it wasn't even a cover so i found this set and this set's so plush it's actually a hundred percent cotton and so i was like what stop that's a great great like material and this was only 70 dollars, and it comes with the duvet and then two pillow shams so i'm so excited it's this beautiful waffle knit i am obsessed last but not least over here i bought one of the curved mirrors so this mirror was 35 dollars, but it's a really good size and i know right where i'm gonna put it so goodbye goodbye you guys my package is not gonna be here for a little while like we have like four hours probably to wait that sucks so i unfortunately am going to end today's video be pretty please don't be mad at me i at least showed you guys this little haul that was a really fun haul um but i can't wait that long i have to do chores you guys two weeks and my room is not even ready for puppers to arrive so yeah literally still doesn't feel real i'm getting a dog but I am, and I'm so, 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 so excited. We have a name picked out. He is picked out. We know when he's coming home. So, uh, so excited, you guys. I can't put it into words. So much content, puppy content, is about to come out. So subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of that. Because trust me, it's going to pop off. Just like, it just, I'm trying to live in the moment, but it's so hard for me right now. It's so hard for me. But that is the surprise, you guys, I've been keeping from you. Sorry, not sorry, because I literally almost found out, like, probably a week ago, but I don't know. It was still up into discussions. We didn't know exactly what dog we were getting and stuff like that. Now I do. The little sneak peek is in the thumbnail, you guys. I am saving the rest of the reveal until I pick them up. So hang on to your seats real tight. We got two weeks. It'll go by super fast with all the content I'll be uploading. But if you liked today's video, you guys, and puppy-related content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit subscribe on your way out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!